human wildlife conflict is not a new phenomenon in Kenya. Every year, hundreds of cases are reported from many parts of the country where communities border the parks. But did you know that technology can be used to minimize the conflict? Prompted by this, we set out to Imenti Forest in Meru County to find out how innovations are transforming lives in this remote area. From a distance, this out-of-the-ordinary gate welcomes you to this park. The automatic electric entrance is specifically meant for elephants, as you will find out in the course of this report. It's part of conservation. Yeah, Enoch yeah, Odero is yeah, a programs yeah, officer with Mount Kenya Trust. He explains the significance of this one-of-a-kind gate, which stands tall at Kamutune, separating the lush green Imenti forest and the vast villages in Meru County. There are elephants that were fenced out and they could not come in. So they were forcing themselves through the fence and of, of course there was a lot of uh, management issues of the cost issues. So we thought of how can we make these elephants come in to the reserve but don't go out through the, the, same, the same location. That's when we thought of one way, gate. To demonstrate how the gate works, a land cruiser vehicle was ideal due to its huge size. The gate has sensors that only allows elephants to access their migratory corridors. It is fitted to a system that uses a SIM card which sends notifications once the gate is open. Once the elephants pass, the system sends back a message authorizing the gate to close. You can do it as far as, as, far as you are and you have the authority to do it. Because I remember I gave, uh, there was one of the guys who was operating was in Embu and I gave him, I asked him to close the gate for me while he's in Embu and it happened just via text message. The gate cannot open once the elephant has gotten in. We allow them to come in but how do they come out? Mm -hmm. We have what is called a corridor and an underpass around Kisima. So they, they're only allowed to come in here and go out through the underpass on the other side. But why was the gate erected here and how does it protect crops and people? The gate is here and not on the other, any other place because one thing, this area, we identified it as a corridor for the elephant. Before we moved into this area of Imenti and before building the fence, we had 11 elephants killing 11 members of the community. And in retaliation, the community had also killed 11 elephants. The cameras captures the images of elephants as they enter through the gate. It is a reprieve for farmers in this area who have had to grapple with rampant elephant invasions, which had forced them to abandon their farms. <laughs> From Kamotune, we move to Kamitongu area where the electric fence passes through. Here we find Njuri Ncheke elders from the Ameru community holding a ceremony to cast a thief who stole a solar panel that powers the fence to protect them from elephants' invasion. They say that the thief was given seven days to return the panel, but the directive was never honored, prompting the elders to lay a curse on the thief. Mwenye kuiva, iyo, iyo msola, asikuwa na lana ile kondo, to them, the fence and the gate have been a source of peace and hope as there are no more cases of conflicts between them and elephants. The automatic gates are part of the growing technologies being incorporated into conservation, a project pioneered by Reno Ark, Mount Kenya Trust, Wildlife Conservation Society, KWS, among other stakeholders. This is an innovation of its kind for it has reduced cases of human wildlife conflict in Lower Imenti of Meru County. Dan Kaburu K24 from Meru County.